So we are out shopping for the girls' Christmas items. And we stopped at Home Goods because. Tyler or Mark Terry, can you help us use a whole pickup, please? And so we're out Christmas shopping for the girls. And. <laughs> this is why I need a new camera because we're looking in the viewfinder and it's upside down. So. Um, but we're at Home Goods. And I wanted to stop here because, of course, I'm done hunting. And so Justin goes, <sighs> and he said it really loud. Like, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be discreet about it. And he's like, where's the stopper? But I think we found some good stuff for the girl. Oh, that lighting's better. Found some good stuff for the girls. I got them, or I got Eddie, Marley, this little set here. I've always wanted to get her a little kitchen set. And we got her some little foods, foods for her little kitchen so uh, that, should not cook <laughs> that should be fun. But um no done though. This is cute. Did you see that on like hardwood floors? Oh you can't make it because you don't have a welder. Oh a broomstick and I get the point there. <laughs> you what? You don't like the feathers? I don't know if a hat. <laughs> this, did you see this table? What do you think? That's cool. It's like the industrial. Oh, I wonder if it actually lifts. Oh, it does. Yeah, it goes up and down. That's cool. Yeah. That is awesome. That's awesome. So what are you doing now? What do you mean what I'm doing? What, what's next? I'm just looking at some of the furniture. You're just taking a peek? I do need to, I do need my farmhouse table. Yeah? I'm going to get that next Thanksgiving lunch. Maybe. I want to go look and see the pillows that Guys, so I went to H&M or I wanted to go to H&M honestly to find Justin like a turtleneck. You know, a cute little sophisticated look. And there was a hat that I really wanted him to get. And it wasn't that one. She's cool, huh? You look like a paper boy. It's so, it's so hideous. I hate it. I hate it. We're back with the man of the hour. 
still in the hat. What what is it about that hat that you love? I feel like a paper boy. You do. So you like it because you you want to be a paper boy? Yep. That's On my a, bicycle. It's a lifelong goal of yours. Yeah, the hat's cool. Everybody wears these hats. Nobody wears those hats. Everybody wears these hats. Take it from the fashion guru. Nobody wears that hat. You're the only idiot. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I did the little poll on my Instagram and uh, more than more people said no. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I know it ain't, I know it ain't the truth. You know it's your girl. I told you. I still like it. You look like an idiot. I look cool. Hey guys, in the comment section, be honest with Justin. Let him know how he really looks. You know what you look like? You look like a 40-year-old man. Perfect. That's still trying to be a 21-year-old man. 20-year-olds don't wear these hats? They did when they were 40. I mean. <laughs> what? The math ain't mathin'. <laughs> so but they're stuck. Let me slip into this little hat right there. <laughs> they're stuck in an era. That's what you, that's what it is. You look like you're stuck in an era, people. I'm getting a pipe to match it. I'm gonna wear, you, you said I can wear glasses with it. But you. For costume, yes. You have the look of 30 year old male, nice beard, nice build, tattoos. You should be wearing like all neutral colors. Okay. First of all, Beige. this hat is gonna help me solve a murder. <laughs> I give up, I, I, I can't. I absolutely refuse. And I'm gonna continue to wear this out. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so I just kind of wanted to come at you guys with something that's been on my heart. And I kind of wanted to just share this. Hopefully it'll inspire someone. Honestly, for the past, I'll say since around August, uh, my own personal life, not involving like Justin and other girls, but my personal life on my family side has been extremely rough. I am honestly at a point now where I'm okay with just separating myself from my family only because I can't allow that to, I can't allow that to take away my peace. 2021 has been such an amazing year for me and my family. We bought a house, we traveled, we just did a lot of the things that we want really set our minds to do and just the, the negativity that's coming along with dealing with my personal family, I am, 2000% with separating myself. So along with that, being mentally drained, you guys all know that Ray Dunning has been my little outlet. I've been Dunning for quite some time now, like maybe three, four years. You guys know I go into TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods all the time. And honestly, the encounters that I have with the employees have not been so good like i've run into employees that when you walk into a store they literally stand stand there and just stare you down like no good morning it was almost like i'm there to bother them at first it bothered me because i was like girl don't you got better things to do just I, I never understood that behavior that behavior was really weirdo to me i would go to certain places and just be really uncomfortable shopping there. And like some of these people were really bothered by people that come in there and shop for this stuff. I've never, I've never been one of those types to bug the employees, go and ask if they have anything in the back. Like, I just didn't want to be that dunner. Whenever someone would speak to me, I would make it short and sweet, high and by. Like, I don't need to, I don't need to get to know you. I don't need you to get to know me. I just want to come in here shop for my stuff and leave even when i went to stores out of town i started noticing that i was just so turned off by people asking me in these stores if i needed any help that i would like hurry the conversation along nope i don't need any help you guys know i moved to a different job and i've been there for about eight or nine months i'm right around the corner from a tj maxx and i literally go to this tj maxx every single day and i noticed this lady she would she would just speak to me she'd be like good morning how are you after a while she started noticing that i'm in there every day she never said anything about it but she just noticed that i'm in there every day she knew that you know around halloween is when i started to pick up on her you know behavior 
she knew that I was really excited about Halloween and I would have a basket full of Halloween items. I would buy something one day and then the next day she'd be like, you know, I just got a bunch of stock in, a bunch of Halloween stuff. I know you would like it. Go back there and check it out. And I'd be like, yes, thank you. Okay, I will. And I would just be so excited to go back there and see all of the, the new good stuff. And so um, she started picking up on why I was there every single day and she started noticing the redone in my car. I was still a little hesitant because I was like, like I I haven't had the best experience with uh, employees working at these stores, especially shopping for Ray Dunn. But I didn't I didn't think twice about it. And so more and more, like, cause I was in there every almost every day for Halloween. Like, and so she started like she would see me on like one part of the store, and she would like go out of her way to come speak to me, and just say, "Hey, how you doing?" or whatever. She even mentioned one time she was like. I would love to see one of your displays whenever you got it done because I know you're in here shopping for this stuff. I would love to see how it looked and it just, it slipped my mind to show her one of the displays. My point of telling you guys this is, I walked in today and one of my dumb buddies, Ashley, she's, she was looking for that Frosty the Snowman canister and I really wanted to find her that. Like she really, really wanted that. Like that was something on her ISO that she was just like, I really, really want that one. I was starting to give up hope and I walked into that TJ Maxx today and you guys saw in the video, they had a mother load of Frosty the Snowman. So I was, internally I was so excited because I was like, yes, Ashley will finally get her Frosty the Snowman. As I was picking the Frosty the Snowman up, I heard somebody behind me, oh my God, you found him. I was hoping you come in today. I just put him out. And I turn around and it's that lady. On top of all of the stress that I'm dealing with with my family, because last week was a disaster. I've been so mentally depressed about that. Trying to put on a happy face for my family. Just walking into the store and hearing her, you know, just, just say that. After we separated, I walked around like an aisle. Something in my spirit is telling me that I need to show this lady that I appreciate all of her, her nice gestures, like her just kind of going out of her way to make sure I seen certain things and just being a nice person. Like the world has lost touch with that. Like the world has lost touch with just being a nice person. So I was sitting there pushing the cart and I was texting Ashley and I was like, Ashley, there's a lady here that I, I really wanna do something nice for. Like she has, she always is very welcoming, always very nice, very sweet, just different from the other ladies at the other stores. Her kindness, you know, has really helped me on some of my days where, you know, I wouldn't mentally all hear. I'm thinking about doing like $50 and a Christmas cart and Ashley was like, oh my God, yes, you should do that. By the way, you should make her a goodie bag. And I was like, oh, that's why we're friends. This is why I love you because you, you, you just know what to do. And Christmas is next week. I just, I just really want to show her that she's awesome. <laughs> I asked on Instagram, I was like, you guys, what else, what else can I um, give her that, you know, would be nice to go in a goodie bag. And a lot of people were like candles, tumblers. I think I'm gonna work on that this weekend, but I know this lady will never watch my videos. I don't even know her name. She's awesome. I really wish I could share her information with you guys. I just really wanna show her that she's awesome and that I appreciate her, so.